Hey, congratulations. How, how does it feel presenting Hampson Gretel here at D23? Um, it's been super freaking fun. This is my first D23, um, and it's like it's literally Comic Con, but for Disney stuff. It's so crazy. It's so cool, and it's they have like a bunch of cool stuff on the floor. So I've been enjoying it. Yeah, it's been a great time. I think the the Disney cosplay is on point, and it's been really fun to walk around. And it's just exciting to be here with the show. Yeah, there's so many people wearing like these beautiful dresses that they made at home. Yeah, yeah. There, there's there's some really cool ones. There's, there's some really cool ones. Now, first of all. It must be really exciting to be in a superhero series without being a superhero. How does that feel for you? Yeah, you know, it's the best. No, no. Honestly, I think I think it's cool because, like, I feel like Kevin brings, like, a, a humanness to, like, the show that, like, feels very relatable. So, like, anybody can relate to him because it's like, oh, yeah, like, I sometimes I feel like you feel a little bit out of depth when you're in a room full of, like, for in Kevin's case, it's, like, super strong, super powerful people, and he's, like, the normal one. But I feel like that's sometimes life where you're, like, in a situation where you're super out of your depth, but you prove yourself in other ways. And I think that's, like, that's a lesson that everyone should learn. So We know you're a master of voices. Tell us about the heightened voice of uh, Consuela for yourself. Um, I play um, Carolina. I mean, yeah, Carolina. You're good, you're good. Uh, <laughs> there is a, a character called La Cebolla here, so... Totally understandable. Uh, I play uh, a Venezuelan who has a deeper voice and she talks like this. And uh, it's based on Joanna's mom. So honestly, I just kind of took a real life human and tried to swallow all of her wonderfulness. And uh, I, I enjoy it very much because it's different to all the other Hispanic characters I've played or Brazilian. So uh, it's just, it's exciting. And I've never played a Disney mom. And she's just a fun, funny, really smart woman. And that makes me feel proud. Yeah. And one more thing before I let you go. How do you guys feel about the diversification of Latinos and Hispanics into a, an animated show like this? I mean, I, I feel like it's definitely a step in the right direction, right? Like, we, we have, I, I think we do have strides to make still. Um, and, like, you know, still, like, topics and subjects that need to be discussed. But I, I think that representation is super important. And sometimes representing things like this where it's just just showing our, our culture and just celebrating it not necessarily talking about the, the problems we face especially you know for a young kid show I think is also important so yeah I think that for a very long time that's La Ceboya singing with Joanna um, I think for a very long time because the U.S. had such an influx of Puerto Rican and Mexican and Cubans we didn't see any other uh, nationality being portrayed in animation mm -hmm. or on film and TV. So the fact that we're showing a Venezuelan American family is really cool because it's, I think it's the first time and it feels unique and special. So more and more we're just, you know, trying to show different cultures and nationalities out there and it's, it feels, it feels special, it feels important. And I never saw this growing up in animation. So it feels really great to see a family like mine in this animation. Yeah. Well, hopefully we, more to come. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Thank you. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks. Thanks. Take it easy.